Mata, how are you? Welcome. I have a very special announcement for all of you Rainbow Tribe members. Now, it doesn't matter your race, your class, your, I don't know, anything you can throw in there, the diversity of who you are. There is a prophecy by the ancient Hopi people, and it's called the Rainbow Tribe. Hello, Maria. I'm talking real quick about the Rainbow Tribe and inviting everyone to two events that are happening this Wednesday and next Monday, digitally from wherever you are. And guys, if you are feeling a calling right now, uh, as the earth appears to be ravaged and animals dying, etc., this is an ancient Hopi or Hopi, how you want to say it, prophecy is that a tribe of people from different creeds, races, uh, you know, classes shall rise up together from all over the globe together to make the earth green again. And boy, is this the time, guys. We are going through the collective dark night of the soul and I invite you to stand up in your power, okay? Now guys, this doesn't mean that you are going to be anti-anything. You're not gonna be pushing against anything. You're going to simply be honing into the future that you desire as if it is so, and projecting that out from your heart space, creating new grids that function, transformation that is anchoring into the 3D, that is uh, actually going to be felt, to be seen, tasted, touched. We are going through a uh, transformation that usually takes hundreds of years and this is happening in the span of a couple decades okay and so everyone needs to understand what's happening uh, you go within and you figure it out you go through all of these uh, inner you know struggles and exterior struggles um, but we are are at a threshold where we need to support people and just being that anchor in shining that light to make sure that people realize they're not alone. And I think one thing that was really cool that came out in the last week, hey Kelly, hey Maria, hey Tamara, glad you're here, is this beautiful, I wanna show you this symbolism and then we'll wrap up, um, keeping the calendar open for you all this Wednesday and next Monday. I'll tell you where to go in a second. But look what sprung up. And again, you can be anywhere in the world. I'm just in my garden here in Southwest Florida. My mom came to visit and right before she arrived, I literally got freaked out because there was this Jack and the Beanstalk. Okay, so this thing down here, I'll show you first, in my neighbor's yard has been here since we moved here four years ago. And I always thought it was some sort of huge aloe, maybe, not sure, never flowered, you know, big pineapple sort of thing. Well, lo and behold, it sprung up over the matter of two days. Look at this. It is over 20 feet. Actually, I think they say 18. I had posted, what is this? And people said, oh, that is an agave uh, bloom. Now, the interesting thing about that, guys, is that agave, uh, they only bloom like this right before they're about to die. Okay, so for me, this is such a, an amazing um, gift of transformation that we're all going through, right? We are ascending at warp speed, you know, so quickly you can see it. In the meantime, the old is falling away. The structures that have been, look at this, it's, it's you know, drying up. Oh, hello, lizard. Hello, cutie pie. How are you? Yes, you're so sweet. Uh-huh, yeah, nod your little head. Anyway, um, it's simultaneously, oh, and a beautiful black snake, guys. Gorgeous, wow, two beautiful totems. Hello, sweetheart. Okay, so we have um, totem, black snake, totem, lizard in the house, paired with agave, okay? This thing just sprouted up. You could almost see it growing. It's now 18 feet tall. And so I'll come back here to tell you the rest of the story. Um, and I really feel like this is a symbolic 
uh, essence of what we've been going through as a collective and I want to urge you all to um, really just be brave enough to let go of what was and um, use all your energy if you can to start stepping into your power okay um, as a light worker, as a way shower, as someone who came here to anchor in the new energy, the new light, to build new timelines for the collective to ascend into uh, as fear is burned off. It's, it certainly looks, you know, convincing like the world is ending, and it is. Armageddon is a total transfer transformation, but we need not be fearful. Uh, what we need to be doing is centering in our heart space, our anahata. We need to take the time to be clearing things out, to be consciously integrating all of this energy that's coming in, to nurturing our minds, bodies, and souls, to um, unattach from those things that are not aligned with where we want to go, not in resistance, just simply in sovereign choice. And I want to help you do that, but I also want to give you guys a platform in which to vocalize. Many of us have had issues with our throat chakras over lifetimes of being suppressed and told, uh, even killed for it, um, that we can't speak our truth. And right now it's being, you know, magnetized as it all burns off in the form of censorship, uh, cancel culture, etc. But here's the thing. Ascension is happening whether you... Uh, want it to or not okay so these densities are actually part of the plan um, you know it's it's being burned off it's integrating and we can no longer just brush it under the rug and pretend that these things don't exist and so what we need is more warriors of light that are consciously integrating these energies I have found one such way to do so is through uh, structuring your water Okay, hey Tamara, how are you? Hey Yumit, love to you. Thanks everyone for joining me now and in replay. Quickly wanna tell you guys a really great way to anchor in those energies and to integrate them is through the element that actually is cohesion, okay? That is unity in, in this space. We have platonic solids. We have earth, air, fire, ether, and what? Water, water is cohesion. Ironically, well not ironically, it's all divine. It is also the layer associated with emotion, okay? And as human beings, we are electromagnetic. We start with our mental, you know, electricity, thought, sparking into our magnetism, which is our emotional layer. And so I want to give you this beautiful download that I received memories from 17,000 years ago. I know it sounds odd, but if this resonates with you, you were probably there too in Lumeria. Okay, just try this on. Where we didn't actually eat a lot of food, we actually lived on nectar and water. And we could work with the element of water in very strange ways. I call us water benders. And not really bending water physically now, but on a molecular level. So it is physical, we just can't see it with our eyes. But if you, you can taste the difference for sure. And so what I want to help you with is over the next week, starting on Wednesday, this Wednesday, I'm gonna take you on a seven day water challenge. And the requirements are that you only drink the blessed water that I teach you how to create. So what I want you to do is follow this link into my group. If this intrigues you, I'm gonna teach you over seven days, how to become a water bender. It's going to unify your mind, body, and soul. It's gonna clarify what you came here to do, but that's not the end of it. I also wanna support those of you who then want to share what is coming through as important. And guys, it can be your mess. It can be your curiosity. It can be your wisdom. Whatever you have in terms of uh, energy to share, okay? You don't have to have the answers. That's the big, confusion is people say I'm not an expert it doesn't matter we are human when we connect and communicate that is our expertise our humanity is our expertise and people want authenticity people want to um, hear what you have to say when it is for the collective okay so join me in the assisting frequency Facebook page I'll put the link here and that will start on Wednesday 
grab a journal, a blank piece of paper, and some water. That's all you need for the seven day journey starting Wednesday. So over today and tomorrow, share this video. Be sure you go into the group and make sure you um, allow the alerts to be seen because Facebook has this new algorithm where uh, even if you're in a group, you won't see any of the messages unless you say, um, I think it's activate all alerts or, uh, you know, basically there's a toggle in the group setting. Okay, so I'll put the link here, join the group, make sure your settings are set to hear everything because it's gonna be a seven day journey. It's gonna be uh, 15 minutes a day, that's it. I'm gonna teach you how to structure your water in order to uh, center in these ascentive energies, optimize your body's water, which is 72% and over 90 in your brain, and really begin to feel that space of peace, joy, ease, optimization, lack of triggers. Those are all the side effects of drinking this structured water. And I want us to just journey together through this experience of optimization. It's a biohack. And then at the end, next Monday, we're going to go transition after we've we've purified and we've sanctified and we've optimized and we've uh, received this inspiration that's coming in. We're going to shift into the second half next Monday, which will be uh, a five day challenge into your especially pure voice. This is Vishada. That is the chakra just above the heart. And that is a sweet spot between your head and your heart where you find your voice, right? Where you can project out into this 3D reality all the wisdom you didn't even know you had. And I would love to um, help you to remember that as well. Okay, guys. So yes, um, yay. I'm so excited for those of you who have the water bending rocks. You can do this with or without. More details in the group. Head over there now. It's the Assisting Frequencies group one call to action. That's join the group, share this if you'd like it, and um, be sure you um, get the alerts in there. We start on Wednesday. Grab a piece of paper, grab some water. Mwah. Have an awesome day. Love to you all. I can't wait either. Thanks everyone. Talk soon. Bye for now.